Hey guys, welcome back to the Wall Street Bull. Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying positive out there. Guys, it is Sunday. Today, the uh, crypto markets never sleep. Literally 24-7, 365. That is the game that we play. I'm going to give you a crypto market update today. We've got some stuff to talk about. Ripple and XRP. We've got Elon Musk you know, potentially supporting Brad Garlinghouse, which is very bullish as well. Updates in relation to Bitcoin, you know, Cardano being undervalued and Quant. I'm going to talk about that as well. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video. Let's get straight into it, guys. Massive shout out and thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you are new to the channel, make sure you smash the subscribe button down there and turn on that little bell notification as well, because as you can see right here, I love documenting my journey with investing with cryptos, dividend stocks, growth stocks, talking about passive income, building financial freedom. And yes, my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come along this incredible journey. We are just getting started. Also, if you can give this video a thumbs up, watch this straight through. It would really help me push this channel out to a lot more people because the YouTube algorithm is absolute magic. When you find ladies and gentlemen do that, all right? So give it a good old thumbs up. It doesn't cost you anything. It's down there. Thank you very much. You guys rock. Also, little disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own research and due diligence with this stuff. I do not want to see anyone get financially hurt. That is why my number one golden rule is I only invest what I can afford to lose. And yes, we don't like to lose. You can lose money like that in the blink of an eye in crypto, all right? So please be careful out there. Do your own research and due diligence. This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the formalities are out of the way. Let's go straight to the community tab. These were the altcoins that were up in my portfolio this morning. We had Solo XPR Proton not XRP, XPR. It's another pro uh, project. Obviously, XRP, you had VTHO and Acro. All right, so straight up, these were the ones that were up today. Now, let's go to CoinSpot. This is where I buy my cryptos in Australia, ladies and gentlemen. Please feel free to use the referral link below. You will get $10 in that coin right there, Bitcoin. Anyway, do your own research. All the prices you see here are in Australian dollars. Everything else is set to US dollars because I'm catering for everybody around the world and my Aussie fans. All right, let's go through them. Bitcoin sitting at $30,000 today or at the time of recording, which is really nice, up 0.07%. You got Ethereum at 2,117, guys. Again, up from yesterday, which is nice. XRP at 74 cents now xrp there are some updates jeremy hogan put a video uh, video out just recently in the last hour or so so i watched a bit of that obviously i haven't watched the whole thing i've watched snippets of it and uh we'll get into that in a second as well but cardano's at 56 cents still under value guys you've got matic at a dollar 33 polka dot is nine dollars keep scrolling down you've got link at 11 dollars today stellar xlm is at 17 cents you've got near at four dollars 74 some great buying opportunities not financial advice you've got algorand at 50 cents quant is down to 284 i might snap that up i'm just saying because it's it's going to be mooning probably tomorrow all right it's sunday Monday, it'll usually be move up, obviously. V Chain is at three cents as well. Lunar Classic down 1.37%. You've got Hedera at nine cents as well. You've got Arvade 135. Manor and Sandbox, guys, pretty much doing nothing at the moment, guys. You've got uh, 98 cents and a dollar 20. Theta is at $1.61. You've got Axe Infinity at $14, which is nice as well. I am staking that earning some pretty crazy interest as well. The graph is a definite for me, and I do hold it, and I think it's very undervalued, all right? $0.12. Cents. you got Phantom at $0.33. Cents. Casper as well, $0.07, cents, which is awesome. Engine, I need to add at $0.66. Cents. And XDC is just holding on to that $0.05. Cents. Just, all right? And again, another gem, which I think is going to moon in the future, guys, is Reef. Not financial advice, of course, down 5.26% today. It is under a cent. Cannot complain about that one. Alliance Block, ALBT, 11 cents right now. And of course, XYO, a gem that I got in very early. It's actually up 0.95% today. Now, let's go to Crypto Bubbles. And before I do, guys, join the Patreon. It is linked below. Building a very bullish community of serious investors. I talk myself personally on my buys, my sells what I think is going to moon, everything, guys. I put it up in this incredible group. So go join it. It is linked below. You will not regret it. Very, very bullish community. And let's go to Crypto Bubbles. All right. So the biggest gainer we have 30% is APT. All right. So obviously this one's mooning today, guys. 30% today be careful with this one all right because it could uh, obviously drop a lot tomorrow all right 13 uh, on the week 24 on the month 24 on the year 
It's a new project, obviously, guys, but I don't know. I'm not too bullish on that. Focusing on the real stuff right here. We have Hoibi token again up 15% today. Still 101% on the month. That is ridiculous. That's an insane, obviously, gain right there. And again, Ethereum proof of work is popping its head up again. 9.3% on the day. Still up 13.2% on the month. Can't complain about that. I'm not really bullish on uh, proof of work because it's just moved to uh, proof of stake. All right, so the transitions happen. You got on the day 22%. Bitcoin gold, very interesting, and 11.6, and I'm not really interested in any other fork of Bitcoin other than the OG. And of course, you've got Ethereum Classic up 6.8% on the day, 1% on the week. Meh, not really interested in that. One coin, obviously, guys, is Quant that I'm very, very bullish on, and I can't see it there because I'm probably half blind. There we go. Down 3% today, 3.4% on the week, still up 70% on the month. Again, very, very bullish with this one, guys. $175 USD. Cannot complain about that. Now, let's go to the news. Elon Musk supports Ripple XRP and Brad Garlinghouse. Of course he does, because he does not like the SEC either. I'm sure a lot of other institutions do not like them. But amid the recent victory in the case, Ripple's counsel said that it was well worth the fight. Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse slammed the SEC Elon Musk extended his support during their ongoing court battle with the U.S. Securities Exchange Commission. Obviously, Ripple scored another victory. Ripple counsel Stuart Alderotti confirmed that the firm has managed to get their hands on the Hinman speech in, from 2018. The SEC has been making, uh, obviously, an attempt to prevent Ripple from getting access to the speech delivered by former SEC chairman Hinman back in 2018. Ripple said that Hinman's speech is a pivotal is pivotal when he states that Ethereum won't be a security. Ripple said that the same rules apply to XRP while claiming their crypto is not a security token. Upon scoring this minor victory, the Ripple Council noted, obviously, guys, we know this over the last 18 months and six court orders, they have just got this. Now, obviously, uh, Jeremy Hogan has gone through um, some updates today. Uh, and obviously, I did watch snippets of that. However, he did mention that, obviously, that the judge... Uh, is yet to receive the final briefs, um, obviously November 15th, and uh, basically that'll be the last day. So we are not far away from the end, straight up. And obviously then it'll be in uh, Judge Torres's or Netburn's court in order to make a decision. And it's going to be very interesting to see what happens there, guys. And it's just funny how it's all playing out in November. Just saying, ISO 222 is going live in November. We know this for a fact. And again, look at this. All right, so Forbes putting out a pretty mid- uh, news article right here, but Ripple gets the documents it wants, but maybe not the ones it needs. Well, we'll see what happens there. But Ripple Labs may have won the hard-fought battle wrestling the documents from the Securities and Exchange Commission that supports its case against the agency, but that does not mean it will prevail in a $1.3 billion lawsuit against them for selling XRP. Well, I think it will help a lot. So the company which uses XRP token facilitate cross-border payments seems to think it scored a big after the SEC complied with the court order to cough up documents related to 2018 speech by Hinman, obviously guys, in which it declared that the Ether was not a security. Elder Roddy, Ripple's general counsel, took to Twitter and obviously again. So uh, it's just interesting they put these kind of news uh, headings on one of the biggest, you know, uh, news agencies right here. Forbes is huge, right? So... Uh, no matter what the former SEC thought four years ago, the ultimate arbitrary uh, arbitrary right here, guys, of whether cryptocurrencies are legally securities in the United States Supreme Court, which makes a decision independently of the agency, according to Stephen Diamond, a securities law professor right here. So uh, this is going to be huge. This is really huge for all the crypto. All right. So the high court has spoken dozens of times on the issue in the last 70 years, and they have never strayed from the very simple framework that establishes the Howie case, says Diamond, I don't think XRP or Ripple is going to make a dent in this instance, guys. And again, see what I mean by just a mid article? Don't believe this FUD, straight up. Now, Bitcoin breakout imminent ahead of key macro events filed week, a filled week, guys. So this is coming. Bitcoin is still looking for a trigger break past 20,000 level. It's been like back and forth, like that hilarious video of, um, what's his name? Austin Powers yesterday on my Twitter page, but having consolidated around the zone for several weeks, the asset's possible rally has partly been delayed by the prevailing macroeconomic factors with flagship cryptocurrency trading in tandem with the stock market. Truth, right? So notably, both bulls and bears lack a clear advantage at the moment as the tussle for dominance when the market participants are projecting a possible rally is still in play. 
all things uh, stand, Bitcoin was trading at $19,200 by the present time. A slight gains of almost 2% in the last 24 hours. And obviously, guys, notably Bitcoin stabilization around the key psychological level of 20,000 has contributed to the assets dropping volatility. And again, I think the bull market's coming, guys. We just need to be patient. And I just want to point out as well, I did check um, Quant's address on CoinMarketCap. Now, look at this. It does say 45.467 million Quant, 74,000 holders. So that has gone up, right? But that was most of that was burnt in the original stages. So that's what I'm trying to say. Originally, that was 45 million, but it's gone down. So again, I'm still very bullish on Quant. Again, I might sell my Ether and put it into Quant. All right, facts. Now, Analysts right here, Benjamin Cohen says crypto assets are 50% undervalued, predicts, predicts when Bitcoin may rally to a fair value. Uh, obviously, guys, this chart is something I've shown a few times in the past. The blue line is the total cryptocurrency market cap. The red line is what I called fair value. Logarithmic regression trend line right here, guys. The whole idea is that the fair value of the asset crypto increases money. Uh, monotonically right here and uh with the time and we sort an oscillate around the fair value right now the data suggests that we are about 50 percent undervalued compared to where its fair value is and uh raul powell also uses the same thing a linear regression line all right so uh not too many technical indicators here just a straight simple linear regression line just going slowly upwards all right so again I think we were undervalued anyway. I I was buying my cryptos at 50% more than what they're worth now. Just saying. Now, Cardano is undervalued. Potential 2x in the next three months, says Santiment right here. What do you think about that? So when it comes to valuation methods, the coin due diligence MRV market value has become increasingly popular. Choice among the chain analysis. While it's not without its drawbacks, the metric provides a simple way to gauge whether this, uh, obviously, guys... Uh, is currently over under uh, undervalued or the likelihood of upcoming trend reversals right here so uh they're basically saying that cardano is undervalued what do you think about that and do you think long term that it's going to 2x i think it'll probably do more than that i'm very bullish on cardano as much as i didn't like um charles hoskinson's comments just saying right here guys now i'm just moving through quickly here guys but we've got money going into ethereum xmr solana ada we've got apt again that's popping its head up doge bitcoin uh, we do not have any of my banking coins, which is interesting, all right? So it's in, not it's interesting not to see Quant and the banking coins there, just saying. Now, let's go quickly to Twitter. There again, there's not much happening again today, which is, um, you know, it's pretty much just pre very boring. But this is like uh, an interesting one here. Buying Bitcoin 30 cents in 2010. Uh, Look at this. Hendrix.com and you'll buy PayPal. And I'll enter my Bitcoin uh, recharge 39 cents in fees. So those are passed through to you. Then a convenience fee for using the service, the grand total, and the effective exchange rate for this purchase. That all looks good to me. I'll click continue. Now it tells me that they sent me an email. So I'll go look on my email here. For the sake of the demo, I'm going to copy and paste my confirmation link on the other screen here. Let's just fast forward like to you guys. It shows me the details. 10 bitcoins for $3.48. Yeah, that's right. That's what I agreed to. 10 Bitcoin for $3. Mind blown. Uh, Quant316, thank you for this one. Who's ready for their bank account to look like this because crypto made you rich? $9.8 million. That's going to happen, guys, and we need to be ready for that because you're going to need to know what to do with that money, of course. Uh, N1W, London today. Ripple is all over London. I'm just saying a lot of people are now posting this up, and I'd like to go visit that soon. Be very, very nice. Bitcoin is not the future. XRP is straight up. Um, the U.S. will not want to be last in this race. If Bitcoin is the future, they're they're not going to want to ban it. They're going to want to be ahead of it. I want to like really get your thoughts here. Yeah, I think you have to separate what the U.S. really wants is to be ahead of the game on blockchain, not Bitcoin in particular, or some form of digital system that they can eventually take over, and that's. You know, they're, they're going to create their own central bank digital currency like everybody else in the world. And they're not going to want competition. I see Bitcoin as an anti-sovereign fiat play. And if I'm right about a monetary reset where everybody's going to something else that incorporates digital currencies in that whatever they create, the last thing they're going to want is the competition from Bitcoin. And I have, a, as I said a year and a half ago yeah. during our debate, with Michael Saylor, e eventually they will want to take Bitcoin out. I think there's too much risk there. And I want to get back.
they're going to do that. We know this. And CBDCs are not good. Imagine like the government tracking literally everything that you buy and sell. All right, straight up. We do not want that. Riz, thank you for this as well. XRP is a virtual currency, period. XRP wins. Facts right here. And thank you, Cash Out, as well. Ripple's, Ripple's argument. So the widely held belief that XRP was not a security was reinforced, uh, reinforced Sorry, when the US Department of Justice and FinCEN publicly described XRP as a virtual currency, which they did, uh, and required Ripple's subsidiary to register as a money service business, a distinguished uh, that they're mutually exclusive with the SEC regulation. Moving down here, guys, money services business excludes person registered with the functionality regulated or examined by the SEC. This uh, That brief was further reinforced when in 2015, the CFTC declared that virtual currencies are commodities. Come on. Like, doesn't the judge see this? I hope they do. I hope both judges do. All right. Fear and greed index is sitting at 20 right now. And we have an, a Ripple employee that is leaving. And it's this guy right here, guys. So uh, uh, Nick Nick B, uh, again, he's leaving uh, Ripple, which is interesting as well. So this will always be bittersweet. I'm sad that I won't be closely working with Nick anymore, but I'm also glad he's personally moving forward. And again, Ripple's just forever changing people as well. Just saying, because they're a massive company growing. Fear, obviously, let's go here, guys. Crypto uh, coin market cap, sorry, $921 uh, billion, $33 billion in volume. It is extremely low. Just saying, this was like, when this gets above like 150, 150 million in 24 hours, guys, then we're starting to talk turkey, all right? 39% BTC, 17% Ethereum. We're in the green at the moment, which is nice. The top gain is in my portfolio, a BTT solo, XPR, ETN, VTHO, Rose, Near Protocol, NEO, and ADA. But where my money's actually going straight up is we got the banking coins, all right? And if I go market cap, I hold ETH, but I'm thinking about selling it, guys. I don't know. I do have to hold some, of course. XRP, ADA, AVAX, I need to buy. Link, XLM, Algorand, Quant, Hedera, IOTA, Casper, XDC and Alliance Block. That is where my money's going straight up. I mean, it's truth, all right? Make sure you join the Patreon. That is it for today, guys. Follow me on all socials, and please make sure you check the spelling. I'll be back tomorrow with another market update. We'll speak to you all then. Stay safe. We'll speak to you soon. Peace out. Bye.